Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Trump's nominee for Labor Secretary withdraws from consideration. By Scott Gelnhofer. Wednesday provided more turmoil for President Donald Trump's administration. Andrew Puzder, whom the president had nominated to be his Secretary of Labor, withdrew his nomination Wednesday, one day before his scheduled appearance before a Senate committee. After careful consideration and discussions with my family, I am withdrawing my nomination for Secretary of Labor, Puzder said in a statement Wednesday. I am honored to have been considered by President Donald Trump to lead the Department of Labor and put America's workers and businesses back on a path to sustainable prosperity. I want, to, thank President Trump for his nomination. While I won't be serving in the administration, I fully support the president and his highly qualified team. CNN reported a senior GOP source told the network that Puzder was losing support among Senate Republicans. The source claimed there were at least four Republicans who were not going to support Puzder's nomination, and possibly as many as 12. Puzder, who is the CEO of CKE Restaurants, parent company of fast food chains Carl's Jr. and Hardee's, had been under scrutiny in recent weeks, in large part because of claims of physical abuse his ex-wife made during divorce proceedings in 1986. Court documents said Lisa Feirstein, Puzder's ex-wife, claimed Puzder physically abused her by striking her violently about the face, chest, back, shoulders and neck, without provocation or cause. She also made an appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show in March 1990 in which she claimed Puzder vowed revenge against her for making allegations of spousal abuse public. You will pay for this, Fierstein said on the show where she appeared in a wig and sunglasses and used the name Anne to protect her identity. Feirstein eventually recanted her allegations in 1991. She also told Fox News, I regret my decision to appear on the Oprah show. I was hesitant but encouraged by friends and became caught up in the notion of a free trip to Chicago and being a champion of women and women's issues. In addition to the controversy over Feirstein's allegations, Women's groups were critical of TV ads for Carl's Jr. and Hardee's that frequently used scantily clad women to promote the restaurant's newest sandwich offerings. Meanwhile, supporters of a higher minimum wage were upset with Puzzler's hardline stance on keeping wages low for his workers. News that Puzzler's family had hired an undocumented immigrant to be its housekeeper also cast a negative light on his nomination. Senator Bernie Sanders, I Vermont said he was happy with Puzder's decision. In recent weeks, there had been questions surrounding Puzder's commitment to taking over the Department of Labor. His confirmation hearing had been postponed four times because he had not turned in the required paperwork. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.